Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with an absolutely vile recording by that master of pretentious slowness, Sergio Celebidaki. I love, I love reading the, the little blurb that they put in here. This is with the Munich Philharmonic, and it's all Ravel, poor man. And uh, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, here we go. Throughout his life, Sergio Celebidaki refused to allow recordings of his concerts to be released on CD. In spite of, in spite of this, his family, um, his family has now decided to release a number of selected and particularly valuable, valuable? Archival recordings as a precious memento of a great conductor and of his unique work with the Munich Philharmonic. Yes, in other words, they wanted to make a quick buck out of the guy's legacy. I don't know what his will actually said and who got what. But the bottom line is, these are horrible. There is nothing valuable or precious about them. Now, this is curious, this Ravel disc, because it came out a while ago. And I reviewed it on ClassicsToday.com. And if you're an insider member, you can go read that review and listen to a sample, a dreary, dreary, droopy, slack, flabby sample of the non-musicianship uh, on evidence here. What you get, uh, but anyway, I don't know, this came out a while ago and then I got it again. It showed up again, so I get to trash it again. Ah, sometimes life is good. Anyway, you get Daphnis and Chloe, Suites 1 and 2, La Valse, and Le Tombeau de Couperin. Now, there are some beautiful moments. There always are with Celebidaki stuff. You know, there are moments where the, the slowness and the attention to detail and, you know, actually, actually brings a, a moment of crystallized thought that can be quite lovely. And you find some of those here. But for the most part, this is just, just awesome awful. The Daphne Suites are so, so droopy. I mean, they're just, they just die. It's incredible. I mean, the first suite has, has, you know, you've got like, 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 oh, what, you know, what could I tell you? It starts, remember, with the nocturne, not with the whole opening scene. And that nocturne takes five minutes and 21 seconds of total nocturnosity. Oh my God, it's nocturnal. And then there's an interlude. And then you get the danse guerrière, you know, the warrior's dance. Yeah, right. Uh, these are warriors? I mean, who is he kidding? You know, it's just da da ba da ba da ba da ba da 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da Oh my God, they're so droopy, these warriors. It's just terrible. And then we've got the Daphnis and Chloe Suite number two, which of course has sunrise and that flute thing. And then the final general orgy at the end. Some orgy. This is an orgy that seriously needs some Viagra. I'm telling you. I mean, you know, the whole point of this orgy is that it's in sort of a thematic extravaganza of rhythm and, and, and passion and moaning and crispness. And oh, oh. Oh, my word. So then we get La Valse. Now, La Valse is an apocalyptic nightmare. We know that, right? It's supposed to be just this, this gorgeous little waltz that, that waltzes itself into total destruction. And it gets more and more exciting as it goes. Well, this, per, this performance takes 13 minutes and 50 seconds, which is a good, like, almost two minutes slower than it normally does. I mean, and this is a waltz. It, it's, it's, again, it's all about rhythm. And there is no rhythm here. It's just a sludge fest. And, and there's missing percussion. And, you know, you know Chelebidaki is supposed to be famous for taking things slowly because he could effect miracles of textural layering and transparency and detail. There is none of that going on here. It's just a complete snooze fest. And then at the very, very end, the very, very end, all of a sudden he wakes up and like doubles the tempo because he realizes that the whole thing has gone to sleep and it's got to do something to come to that ending somehow. So he speeds up suddenly. It's, it's, it's pathetic. It's really amateurish is what it is. And, and the, the playing is, 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 is careful. It's just so cautious. It has no abandon. It never, it never explodes the way it's supposed to. I mean, it's just horrid. 
the worst love vols you've ever heard in your life. I mean, really seriously, it's, 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 it's kid stuff. Then we get the Tombo de Couperin. Now this, of course, is for a chamber orchestra, and it, it's an exquisite piece. It really is. And, and there are beautiful moments in this performance. I like to have the prelude done at a slightly slower tempo so you could actually hear the oboes. You know, I don't think it has to go that quickly. And you can, you can do things with, with line and texture, which he does, and it's quite lovely. And a couple of the movements, I mean, are actually kind of up to tempo. Well, I mean, the minuet's not too bad, but, but so much of it just is just boring. I mean, just boring. And the finale, ah, the finale, what is it? The, the rigodon. The rigodon, you know, goes dum ba da dum da 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 dum ba da 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 dum ba da 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 dum ba da 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 you like that. No, it. I mean, that opening motive with the trumpet on the top, dum ba da 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 dum. Right? Very simple. It's not. It's just. It's just a a smear. It's a puddle. It's it, it's 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 terrible absolutely atrocious the whole disc is embarrassing extraordinarily bad from start to finish and you know this is supposed to be the stuff he was good at you know it's not contrapuntal it's coloristic it's it's got you know his la mer was fabulous the incredibly slow la mer where he really digs into every minute of the texture he could do it it could happen but it doesn't happen here and that was the risk that you took, because as often as not, he didn't do it. And uh, this, this, this particular treasure is not a treasure. Mm -mm. Yep. Useless. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.